English opening, Karokan defensive system, 2.NF3D53.G3BG44.BG2. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well fought middle game that white got the better of. In the English opening, white plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. c6 prepares for a quick d5 pawn push in the center. The knight grows and the d4 and e5 squares are under the control of nf3. The light squared bishop can advance and the c4 pawn is attacked when d5 occupies space in the center. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to g2, where it will take up residence on the long diagonal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Recaptures. It is the last book move. So, a knight is attached to the king. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is ideal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This threatens to kick a queen. It is a mistake. This overlooks a better way to prepare a bishop for development. It is a miss. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. A pawn kicks the opposing queen, forcing her to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable pawn. It is a mistake. It falls flat. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This is a missed chance to kick a knight. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. This stops the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's fine. It is good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is quite good. This reveals a rook attack. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. 
That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with the knight. It is an inaccuracy. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to develop a bishop by placing it on the long diagonal. It is a mistake. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This defends the attacked bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is ideal. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is quite good. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well fought middle game that white got the better of. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is good. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well fought middle game that white got the better of.